Historically, sensation and perception have been treated as separate processes, but they are interlinked. Originally, it was sensation, then perception, in that order. The idea was that your senses would collect information, and then your mind would make meaning out of it. According to this view, sensation is primary process of data reduction and analysis, and perception is the process of extracting meaning from the sensations we receive. The value of the model was that it emphasized the difference between internal and external states. We collect external information through our senses and then process it internally. Collecting is external, and processing is internal. As it turns out, we're not that simple. We use both bottom-up and top-down processing at the same time. Bottom-up processing is inductive. You take this bit of vision and that bit of sound. Then you combine all the bits together into a full understanding of your situation. In contrast, a top-down process means that what you are thinking impacts what you see. The pattern of previous information sets up expectations of what is to come. And given that expectation, you put more emphasis on finding what you expect to see. The Stroop effect is a good example of top-down processing. Here are four colors we will use. Green, blue, yellow, and red. When you see a new stimulus, say the color you see, not the shape or label of the object. Don't say triangle or square, say blue or yellow. Don't say cat or horse, say red or yellow. Don't say the word red if it's written in green, say the color. Ready? Here we go. Green, blue, yellow, red, blue, blue, green, blue, yellow. As you can see, we are pre-programmed to process verbal information differently from visual information. People begin having trouble saying the color when they see the object as a word. We want to process words as words, not as visual objects. I stumble over this process every time, and I know what's coming. So knowing about it doesn't make it go away. It's an automatic process. We don't just collect stimuli and then figure out what it means. We add meaning to the collection process. So it's not sensation and then perception. It's teamwork. We use top-down processing to anticipate what's coming next, and bottom-up processing to fill in the gaps.